Good morning. We're just staying at a really nice hotel. Well, at least in the parking lot of one. We slept here last night. I actually slept really well. Did you sleep well? You always sleep really good in the van. Yeah. No, it's 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 comfortable in here. And also, check this out. DJI mics. This basically seems like the Rode Wireless Go 2s. There's a few things I didn't love about the Rode Wireless Go 2, so hopefully this is like it, but better. We'll see. We got USB-C cable, TRS to TRS, and two fluffy mic things. Here it is. It's in one hard case. And check that out. And one thing I already like about it is that you can charge everything off of one USB-C cable opposed to the roads. So here you would charge the case and you got the connectors down there at the bottom. And when you drop it in, it just starts charging automatically. So I already like that. Now there is a case just like this for the Rode Wireless Go 2s that I saw on Amazon. I haven't tried it out yet, so I don't know if it's any good, but it's an aftermarket thing. They look like a big version of your AirPods. Can you hand model it for us and show us the I, different pieces? I don't think I have the right hands to be hand model. So you have the option to clip it or to magnetize it. Oh, oh, that's nice. Did I find something you didn't know yeah, about? Yeah, I didn't know, but th that's nice. It is kind of like the uh, Insta360 Go. So far, I'm really liking what I'm seeing, but I, I'm in desperate need for some coffee. Coffee time? Coffee time, yeah. yeah? <laughs> All right, so here is a close-up look at the transmitter. So we have our microphone, our TRS input right there, and it is a little bit smaller than the wireless Go 2. You can see it's a little bit skinnier on the same height and the same thickness though. You know, you have your power button and your USB-C, same here, you have your power and USB-C. But on this side, we have a linking button as well as a record button. So actually, if I press this, it vibrates and it tells me that it's already starting to record here. So this should already be recording internally to its eight gigs. We also have the mic fluffy cover. It's not windy right now, so we probably don't need it, but I'll go ahead and attach it. Now it does twist on to attach, so it's not going anywhere, which is nice. It attaches almost the same exact way that the Rode Wireless Go 2 attaches. So you attach it, rotate it. Now one thing that does concern me a little bit is that record button right there, it's pretty exposed. So I imagine if it's in your pocket, you might accidentally bump it. Opposed to the Rode Wireless Go 2, I have it programmed. So whenever it's turned on, it's automatically recording. So I have to actually press and hold this button down for a while to turn it off, which makes it harder to accidentally cut. But here, let me switch between the microphones real quick. This is the DJI mic sound quality, and I'm gonna switch it over now to the Rode Wireless Go 2 microphone. And I'm gonna go ahead and just switch it back a couple of times while I tell you about why we're in front of this Albertsons. Harry, actually, you're, you're better to tell this story. So Sam right here. Live from the Palmdale Albertsons. No, here, you have to oh. hold them at the same distance oh. so that it's a fair comparison. I'm gonna switch between boob oh. level, all right? Just let me have fun being a news reporter. This is a very special Albertsons because this is where I got PETA. I came here to get taco seasoning and left with her. <laughs> so on your way in, there was a lady standing there giving out a puppy, right? And yeah. you went over just to say hi and give PETA a little pet, but that's when these little kids came out. And they asked if they could have the puppy, and the lady said, yeah, sure. And I was like, pump the brakes, yeah, where are your parents? She was about to give out a puppy to these like little kids that with no adults around, so that's when Carrie's like, I'm taking her, right? And you just walked away with her? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I did, I just walked away. And that is how we have PETA. So the internal mic on both of these sound good, but how about if we want to plug in a external microphone? These are both the same lav mics. It's the Rode Lavalier Goes, and they should in theory sound pretty much the same since it's the same microphone, but let's test it out. We're gonna attach it to Dylan while he tells us about today's sponsor. It's important to stay on top of things, whether you're a content creator, software developer, in real estate, or just trying to keep your life together. Monday.com has easy to set up templates that are customizable to whatever you need. You ever hate it when a coworker texts you about that thing they told you about that one time in a voice message that came you know, during that video call that you really weren't paying attention to in a DM that you were looking at but it was the wrong person last Thursday? Don't even stress about it. Monday.com acts as a home base, making communication as simple as a straight line. You know those power strips that you plug things into, like you know your phone and your laptop and your microwave so you can eat Hot Pockets all day? That's basically Monday.com. They integrate tools like Gmail, Zoom, Zendesk, and a whole list of others seamlessly. And it's not going to burst into flames and make your landlord withhold your deposit. Like washing dishes and cleaning toilets, some tasks are just tedious and lame. But no more with Monday.com's automations. With these automations, you can do a lot. Like tell your clients when there's an update in your script. Or you know, like remind people when your birthday is, because you know they just forgot and they said they're your friend. But wait, what if you weren't paying attention to anything I just said? 
Don't worry about it, you slacker. Monday.com has 24-7 customer support and a help center, so you can just pretend that you knew everything I was talking about. So you ready to get fired up about work? Click the link below and start winning today. All right, so one of the things I want to test out is how this DJI mic sounds in wind. So I have it hooked up right here. And I also have the Rode Wireless Go 2 hooked up right next to it so we can kind of compare. Now we're going about 20 miles per hour right now, 22 miles per hour. So I'm going to switch between the mics and you can hear for yourself. Hi, Gary. How you doing today? Good. It's a beautiful day. Yeah? Good day for a ride? Yeah. Yeah, so right now we're going about 60 miles per hour. And Gary also has both the DJI mic and the Rode Wireless. I don't know, can you guys tell the difference between the internal sound quality of these two different mics? Do you guys have a preference? Now, one thing that is really, really cool about the DJI mic is that it can hook up directly to the DJI Action 2 using a USB-C adapter. So I have it plugged in right here. I'll throw up a picture of what this looks like right now. But with this USB-C adapter, I'm able to record two channels into this Action 2, and it's a stereo signal, so you can split up her channel from mine. Oh my God, I'm out of breath. It's really hard to vlog and cycle at the same time, isn't it? The only thing people are gonna hear from my channel is me like sniffling my nose. <laughs> <laughs> On which microphone does carry sniffling sound better, huh? <laughs> but yeah, I gotta say, I love that just with an action camera with a little attachment on the side of it, we're able to get two clean audio channels. So times like this, it's perfect. Carrie can talk and I can pick up her sound. But here's the thing, I like to have my audio channels on stereo separated. So you can do a mono track where it merges the two channels together. But the problem is if I'm saying a line and then Carrie crashes in the bushes and you hear like, oh, uh, 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 but I was saying something very valuable at the time, then it, Carrie's fall would ruin my audio. Why does it sound like you're making fun of me when I crash the mountain bike? <laughs> you okay? You okay? Oh no, you okay? Oh, you okay? You would have liked to have the sound effects of my head hitting the rocky, the, the rocky trail. I have my audio track on the left side and Carrie's audio track on the right side. So if you're not planning on doing any post to mix the two at all, or you know switch between the channels, then you probably want to just go off on just mono, but stereo is nice because you get that flexibility. Carrie, what do you think about this setup here? Good audio is good from what I hear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I see what you did there. <laughs> I, I forgot that it's there really. Since you started talking about audio, you've kind of ruined some YouTube channels for me because their audio is so bad and I'm like, ugh. Oh, it's unbearable. When their audio is bad, it's yeah. unbearable. It doesn't matter how good the footage is if the audio is bad. But if you have good audio, even if it's just like an action camera, it's very easy to watch, right? Mm -hmm. Well, honestly, I'm having a great time vlogging on this little camera and usually I wouldn't do it because of audio. But with this little setup here, I can, I can make this work. Do these need to be close together or no? They so be... technically they're both transmitting to the receiver, to the camera. Okay, so, so we don't have to be close together, but we should in general be close to the receiver. But if we're recording internally, the beauty of it is that even if we lose connection to this receiver, it's still recording afterwards. You can pull so it out of here. Exactly, I can go ahead and download the audio file off of these and then sync it to okay. the camera. Now you're not as paranoid about losing connection to the receiver because you could always recover that audio. So that is a big deal. But one thing I did not like about the Rode Wireless Go 2 is that you have to use their Rode Central app to download the audio off of the internal memory and you have to do one clip at a time and it, it's, it's a hassle, but with the DJI mics, it plugs in very easily. It shows up as a drive and you can just copy paste all the way files. So it's just one swoop, download 10 audio clips if you want. Also, the Rode Wireless Go 2 a lot of times has issues on connecting to the computer. It's very specific to what kind of USB cable you use. I almost always have to use the USB-C cable that came with the Rode Wireless Go 2 for it to work. And if you use a USB-C to USB-C cable, a lot of times the Rode would not want to connect. It's actually weird because one works fine every time on just USB-C to USB-C, but the other one doesn't. And apparently that's a common issue. But beauty with this DJI mic is that pretty much any cable that I've connected it to, it hooks up just fine. It's kind of like a USB drive and just copy paste. So the downloading the internal memory process, way easier on the DJI mic. And I really do like the Rode Wireless Go 2. And they really Really pioneered this so I, I'm kind of rooting for them but at the same time it's like 
the DJI mic has been a better experience so far. It's been easier. All right, so let's go ahead and take a close look at this case. So this is the battery indicator for the case itself. So you basically charge the case through the USB-C and the battery of the case will charge up your transmitter and receiver. It's just, just like how AirPods work. And then you have your two transmitters right here on the side. And this right here in the middle is your receiver. This basically has a slot right here to attach your connector. So this is a hot shoe connector. So you attach this if you wanna mount it on top of a camera or you can use a lightning connector right here for your phone, but this only does mono, does not transmit a stereo signal for an iPhone. And then this is the USB-C, which is what we've been using for the Action 2. So this just slides on, the arrows kind of match up. I slide this in. Here's the Action 2 and that's the USB-C port. So that just attaches right there and just hangs off the side. And yeah, that's all you gotta do. Pretty straightforward, right? What's nice is that this case is designed so you can still throw your receiver back in with the attachment still on so you don't have to pull it on and off every time. And each one of these transmitters is supposed to have 14 hours of internal storage, which is great. The road uncompressed, I think was seven. So double the amount of storage that you can fit into here, but slightly less battery life, which makes sense because it's smaller. They're claiming five and a half hours on each of these transmitters. But if you use the case to recharge it in between takes, they're saying about 15 hours is what you should be able to expect with the battery case. This setup is definitely gonna make me into a lazy vlogger. I'm not gonna wanna take out any camera that weighs more than six ounces now. <laughs> this is very convenient. And a lot of times Carrie will say something and I'll be like, hold on, I need you to say it again. And I'll get like the camera right up in her face so the mic can grab her. But now I don't have to worry about that. Isn't that nice? Yeah, and then when I say it a second time, it's all awkward because I'm saying it for a second time. <laughs> and then we'll be like, ah, oh, never mind. This is over. <laughs> times like this where we're going hiking, I was about to just be like, I don't really feel like bringing a camera on our hike, which we're trying to do a lot more hiking because we're trying to get all healthy. You know, so hiking's good. Healthy body, healthy mind, right? That's kind of a thing. So the thing I'm personally most excited about with these DJI mics is that they don't clip as easily. So the Rode Wireless Go 2, when you use the internal microphone, it was very easy to have it distort by it being too loud, but that would happen under normal use. So here's a few examples of the Rode Wireless Go clipping. So I like that. Now, I, I really like, or else you're gonna have one voice out of each ear. <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of like that harsh distorted sound when something's too loud and that's just under normal use, right? So for me, whenever I was using the Rode Wireless Go 2, I always had to be kind of conscious to not be too loud or else I know that I'd clip the audio. But here, I haven't had any issues with that yet. So I get to talk as loudly as I want. I don't think you need to talk louder. Well, actually, I think when I started doing YouTube, I had to project my voice more so that the microphone could hear me. But that kind of like transferred into my everyday life. So I'm at Starbucks like, what are, can I have a nice coffee? Now, I have ran into a few issues with oh. these DJI mics, ah. but usually... Oh, I'm sorry, Cheeky. There's a snake and it what? scared me. Is it a snake? Yeah, and then I got scared and I stepped back and I stepped on Cheeky's paw. Where is paw. it? I'm Where is sorry, it? Cheeky. It didn't have a, the shaped head of a poison snake. I was just surprised is all. He was really little. Now, I have run into a few issues with these mics, but most likely that's because it's a pre-production version of the mics and also beta firmware. The official one comes out in January, so hopefully they flush out these issues by the time they come out. But one of the issues I had is when I would plug in the transmitter into the A7, it sounded like this. And also when we plugged in those Rode Lavs into these transmitters for that monday.com sponsorship segment, a lot of times I would hear this high frequency pitch, which sounded like this. Or, you know, like remind people when your birthday is because, you know, they just forgot and they said that you're your friend. Yeah. That was funny. Yeah. Okay, cool. Did you see the first half right now? Okay, just... Yeah, I mean, if you can't, just do another take at it, but I just need the first half. Up to, but no more? Yeah, I mean, just try to do the whole thing, but I'll okay. let you know if I got one. Sounded like some sort of weird interference and I also had some glitchiness in some of the internal recordings. But again, by the time this comes out, hopefully all these things are ironed out and I'll put an update down there in the description if these things get resolved by the time this comes out. It is really cool having multiple mics though. I mean, I feel like you could never have enough. I've got one on, Carrie's got one on. And also last week we met up with Josh Yo. He was filming some cars out there. So I brought up my FPV drones and I was able to put one on myself so I could kind of talk over the flight and also so we put one in the car so we could get the sound of the engine.
Hey, Carrie, what'd you think of the Model S Plaid? Slightly terrifying. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Oh, oh snap! Oh, yeah. That's a little faster than our car. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and test out the range of these. DJI is supposed to have slightly better range, 250 meters opposed to the Rhodes 200 meters. In my experimenting, it did seem like the DJI does a better job at maintaining that connection. And also when I do lose connection, it seems to be able to grab that signal again a little bit faster. The Rhodes, sometimes it'll lose connection and I'll have to really bring it way in close for it to reconnect to the receiver. All right, so it looks like we're still in range. I'm gonna put my body in between the receiver and this transmitter and usually that shortens the distance. Now, of course these distances, oh, looks like the road actually just cut out but the DJI is still good. A lot of times if you put something in between, you know, the transmitter and receiver, it shortens that 250 meter distance pretty quickly. All right, so I went for a little hike and I am all the way up here. Now at this range, the road has completely cut out, so it's not transmitting to the camera, but the DJI signal is still going strong. So I love that longer range is always nice and you're rarely gonna need to transmit this kind of distance, but whenever you have obstructions and buildings and walls and doors and all that stuff, it's always nice having a stronger signal. This is a beautiful park though, isn't it? This is uh, Lake Herman, so it's where the Zodiac Killer used to come to murder people, so. Welcome. <laughs> Overall thoughts, loving the microphone. I really loved what Rode did with the Wireless Go 2, and this seems to take pretty much all the features that the Rode had, but added on top of that and made the audio clip less often, which is a big deal. This magnetic thing is awesome because I like to have my mic placed down here. I mean, I guess I can take it and just clip it right here on a shirt, but I feel like a lot of times this is a little bit too close. So, you know, one thing I would love to see is to be able to lock the record button on here so you can't actually accidentally cut it by throwing it in your pocket and having it bump around. But anyways, first impressions, really, really awesome. And hopefully they fix some of these little quirks that it has right now before it releases. And if they do, this is gonna be like one of my favorite pieces of audio gear for sure. I am going to head out of here now before the sun sets and I get stabbed to death. So yeah, see you guys later. Thanks for watching and stuff. And uh, happy Thanksgiving if you're watching this right when this video comes out. But uh, other than that, uh, I don't know, maybe Merry Christmas if you watch this later. Or I don't know what year you're watching this either. So, and anyways, uh, thanks for watching and bye.